During the session, Luxor was also nominated to host the fifth Global Summit on City Tourism. The 104th session of the Executive Council of the UNWTO, which will be held in Luxor, is expected to be attended by tourism ministers from all over the world, delegations and representatives of tourist organizations and agencies. The 7th Annual Retreat of Special Envoys and Mediators on the Promotion of Peace, Security and Stability is recently convened in the Red Sea Resort of Sharm el -Sheikh. The retreat was organized by the African Union Commission and the Cairo Center for Conflict Resolution and Peacemaking in Africa. The Cairo Center was founded by the Egyptian Ministry of Foreign Affairs in 1994 as an independent center of excellence in training, education and capacity building in the fields of conflict resolution, peacekeeping and peace building. Nal TV's Muna Swilam interviewed Foreign Minister Samah Shukri on the sidelines of the high-level retreat that focus on mediation practices and contemporary wars. This is the first retreat after Egypt resumed its activities uh, at the African Union. Uh, the retreat is a very important occasion for the uh, special envoys of both uh, the African Union and the United Nations to assemble uh, in uh, one place and to uh, be able to interact uh, in a uh, this form of setting to exchange views, to uh, uh, exchange experience and to elaborate uh, steps that can be conducive to resolving the many conflicts uh, that they are responsible to uh, uh, undertake. It is uh, an important occasion uh, that uh, this sort of interaction and, and uh, open dis discussion and debate uh, can uh, fulfill uh, the uh, requirements and can uh, provide greater uh, momentum and impetus for the special envoys to undertake their uh, mandates and their responsibilities. How can this retreat not end up being just an academic exercise? Uh, it is hardly an academic exercise by virtue that the people who are involved are uh, not academicians but are actually involved on a day-to-day -day basis with actual uh, conflicts, with uh, negotiations, with uh, uh, arbitration, with uh, the responsibility to uh, interact with the participants in the various conflicts to uh, find a resolution to these, uh, these issues, but also a resolution that is comprehensive, that takes into account the aspirations of the people involved and the desire to maintain the security of African states and their uh, territorial integrity. Egypt is a non-permanent member of the UN Security Council. It's also a member of the uh, African Union uh, Peace and Security Council. And understand that uh, this retreat is building on other retreats. Uh, what are you hoping to achieve in the end? I mean, how do you really can silence the guns by the year 2020? Uh, this is a, an international objective and uh, we must uh, have uh, optimism and uh, resourcefulness and dedication if we are to achieve in the 21st century uh, the uh, objective of uh, full uh, international uh, peace and security uh, so that uh, the uh, nations of the world can uh, concentrate their efforts on the aspirations of the people to achieve, especially in the African context, uh, their uh, uh, rightful place in terms of development, in uh, poverty of alle alleviation, in addressing the many challenges uh, that the young African continent, with all of its potential, is certainly capable of undertaking, uh, especially if uh, we resolve the uh, current conflicts on the basis of uh, negotiations and peaceful means. Lebanon's parliament on Monday elected Michel Laon, an 81-year-old former army commander.